hi uh, again uh, those who are with us um, in the session artificial intelligence uh, my name is Michael Svitkov I'm technical director Intel Russia and today I'm going to be the moderator of the session to talk about our approach and our concept of XPU to um, data general uh, calculations for deep learning and machine learning algorithms. Um, also with me, I will have a very interesting person, Ivan Kuzmin, General Director, Research and Development, Intel Russia. Ivan is going to talk about uh, one PPI project, followed by Anya Anna Belova, talking about our product, Intel Open Vino, for the inference um, of um, uh, neural networks and to and, uh, and to follow by Dima Sivkov uh, with his story about optimization of the main instruments for machine learning, such as uh, Python, Python frameworks, and um, even big data uh, clusters, uh, Apache Spark. Uh, so let's uh, start with the very beginning, with the platforms, the XPU, uh, with um, uh, data gene um, calculations. Uh, well, actually, developing uh, the semiconductor um, um, calculators is a very difficult thing to do, not limited by the work of engineers and um, the teams, design teams um, uh, on uh, RTL uh, development and uh, system creation. Um, while it um, supposes um, that uh, there is uh, 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 inspiration of the developers uh, to to have um, to adopt the ecosystem. Uh, well, semiconductor um, uh, calculate uh, does not uh, live without uh, uh, software and social uh, around it um, uh, to make the product. Uh, living uh, uh, like um, Pygmalion and his Galathea. Well, all components should be operating uh, smoothly together. So Intel uh, invests uh, not only into the development of semiconducting semiconductors, but also into the software and ecosystem. From the point of view of our um, approaches, uh, we are now over to the architecture design, um, which is not linked 100% uh, to the technical process. Uh, so uh, called uh, transistor coupled design, uh, transistor resilient design, um, go from CPU centric um, to uh, XPU centric um, models, uh, and certainly um, pay a lot of attention to the software part. Uh, from the point of view of the architecture, XPU um, includes both a a scalar CPU as well as um, uh, oh, the one everybody knows, the GPU vac uh, architecture. But uh, if uh, Intel CPU is well known to all, um, GPU is coming um, uh, this year to further be developed, and that's quite a well-known uh, thing in the architecture market. Um, uh, FPGA is a principally new approach uh, to neuron um, neuron. Um, uh, networks. It's um, uh, logic uh, which allows you to uh, achieve uh, parallel uh, and uh, productivity with low gaps. And Intel invests um, actively into specialized um, basic uh, micro schemes um, for machine learning exclusively for AI and uh, ML, DL training. Uh, uh, just a couple of days ago at the conference uh, AWPS, uh, Amazon Cloud um, uh, presented uh, news um, that Amazon Cloud uh, w will have Cabana Gaudi, um, Habana um, for um, neural network training. And also, we're actively working at uh, um, Movidius uh, M uh, MPU, which is uh, um, you know, to, to work in uh, the, um, uh, with a minimal uh, energy consumption. Uh, talking about uh, CPU, uh, well, uh, AI and Intel, uh, so uh, what is the, the role of uh, Intel in AI? To be quite candid, it's a huge role. 
even uh, with our um, current CPUs uh, that um, are and have been and will be universal soldiers of uh, global revolution, which is operating uh, from the local um, devices, uh, collecting and uh, um, processing uh, down to huge data centers. This year, this April, um, well, uh, this September, we presented the 11th generation um, um, the support of AI, a set of instructions um, uh, for effective um, uh, production of neural networks. Um, that's uh, principally new nucleus of uh, CPU, new GPU, uh, and expanded uh, fast and modern interface uh, like uh, Wi-Fi 6, um, uh, Thunderbolt 4, uh, with uh, total software optimization of the functionality. And we invest a lot of effort um, for the programs, uh, for new platforms um, to be optimal, um, and all transistors um, to operate uh, for the benefit of the users. Talking about um, those things, more specifically using uh, the uh, um, instructions of the first CPU, client CPU, you, we achieved uh, five time uh, productivity growth uh, of uh, the apps, not uh, to say nothing of the total systems. Uh, uh, in uh, and you can see the improvements, um, uh, both uh, graphic wise and are you uh, interface. Um, uh, Getting over to the server um, the CPU, uh, to the uh, Xeon uh, line, th there's more news uh, since 2019, since the second generation of Intel uh, Xeon scalable processors. Uh, we uh, started uh, to support the extended um, uh, instruction set. Um, uh, first, um, uh, it was uh, in. Uh, uh, it was for um, um, uh, for seven operators. Uh, now in June, we presented the first um, part of uh, Intel Xeon scalable of uh, the third generator, Cooper Lake, um, with the support um, uh, of uh, Bfloat 16. And then uh, we will have Ice Lake as the second part of um, uh, Intel Xeon uh, uh, scalable processor with the prospect of arrival in 2021-2022 of uh, sub 5 uh, generation. What is Bfloat 16 and what it can uh, provide us? Uh, it's um, better productivity, up to 93% growth in um, the apps, not only for inference, uh, but also for training, with a total surplus productivity against um, servers of a five-year um, um, term. Um, that's about 92% uh, growth. Uh, f uh, from generation to generation, uh, uh, if uh, it is compared to five year, um, with uh, uh, and here it is um, compared to, with the previous generation of Cascade Lake, which um, was out in 2019. Uh, B Float allows you to upgrade uh, your throughput productivity um, by. Uh, at uh, both uh, at inference and training practically without uh, loss um, of, um, uh, well, you can see uh, uh, eight um, uh, a bit um, uh, kitten and be flowed 16 against um, uh, 32. Well, the, the FP32, uh, FP the loss amounts uh, to uh, just um, uh, zero point um, uh, something percentage. Our partners uh, appreciated that. Uh, first of all, in the uh, Chinese ecosystem, and you can see Alibaba Cloud um, presented uh, their uh, results, uh, and they used the new generation of Intel uh, Xeon Scalable would be Flood 16 uh, for NLP. <clears throat> It's a uh, um, NLP BERT in France, and um, also Bfloat 16 uh, proved uh, very much in demand for video uh, research uh, in different applications, and also even in some uh, search machines. Uh, now, thanks to our um, permanent um, work um, and software optimization at the third generation, we can support more than 100 optimized typologies of neural networks, um, so respectively. 
the most popular frameworks like as a float uh, by Torch, uh, MXNet, and uh, on the next um, runtime for. Um, uh, and um, also, it's worth mentioning uh, specifically for uh, the text processing, um, uh, the uh, I, I, uh, the clouds uh, for their uh, well, one getting over to Bfloat 16, uh, which is 1.5 times uh, throughput productivity um, increase uh, was noticed, and that BERT uh, tasks uh, they man um, they managed to re um, uh, reduce uh, latency uh, by 83 percent. So. Uh, it's um, uh, the, th uh, the third generation of Xeon Scalable Process. Um, well, they turned out to be quite uh, good platforms uh, for cloud um, the tasks um, of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, I would recommend you to uh, attentively look at them. Now about um, uh, from classical CPUs. Uh, uh, down to the next uh, architectural um, class, uh, which is uh, discrete GPU. Well, uh, just several weeks ago, we presented the first discrete uh, graphic uh, map for the for data centers, uh, which is XG310. Uh, and here again, um, uh, for the first uh, first, uh, it's, uh, it focuses on the video processing, but Mm, uh, the step has been made, and I think that uh, uh, inference and training tasks um, uh, XG, um, XG GPU, you will have to uh, follow them in 2021. We will have a lot of new novelties, new details related to one DPI project. Um, getting over to um, FPGA, um, we have, uh, uh, especially for AI, which is called Intel uh, Stratix uh, 10 um, NX. Uh, you can uh, talk a lot about uh, how it differs uh, from uh, an ordinary processor. Uh, importantly, to understand uh, that um, FPGA is uh, parallel and uh, by uh, the physical structure, it resembles a neural network. It's not um, a consecutive uh, set uh, of commands, uh, which um, um, you, uh, uses several uh, uses. It's a uh, combin uh, co combinatory logic and fused m m multiple accumulate operations. Uh, uh, as in neurons, um, and uh, it is all done parallelly uh, um, during one tact um, and uh, uh, allows you um, uh, to have a um, huge um, um, decline of latency. Uh, Stratix um, 10NX uh, is available quite recently. Um, there were uh, first um, results uh, on implementation of Neuron uh, FPGA networks and um, uh, recourse uh, Neurons uh, feel very good there um, in 5Net um, and uh, we launch transformers in the way of um, classic uh, classical BERT. So I invite you to the session of our partners where they will show you the results uh, that uh, have been achieved at the Intel FPJ in inference uh, of uh, those neural networks. Uh, getting uh, for, uh, forward, um, we will uh, see the specialized micro schemes. Uh, specialization uh, um, gives you not only the maximum productivity, uh, like, for instance, in case uh, Habana um, crowded, where for trainings, um, for uh, the uh, tasks um, uh, to um, uh, train neural networks, uh, the first and uh, second and third priority, of course, are productivity, but also in um, um, uh, smaller devices uh, for PG, uh, for local calculations, for uh, the previous genera generation of uh, um, uh, more videos, um, uh, even uh, flew to space. To the space, um, it's now at a satellite processing uh, photo and video flows. Um, we uh, this year are going to launch the next um, generation, Kim Bay. 
with the higher productivity, with the same levels of energy consumption uh, aimed at um, um, such advanced devices um, such as uh, robots, uh, drones, um, smart cameras, um, and whatever uh, whatever uh, that requires a fast and easy uh, recognition of uh, video and pictures. Uh, good question uh, I can see here. We uh, do not stop at uh, that classical um, uh, microarchitecture set. We go further to um, f quantum uh, computer research and uh, are reviewing them attentively as a prospect for um, the engine uh, and the uh, new and next um, flow of artificial intelligence. So here I would like to stress it that um, uh, for 2021, uh, we have uh, a wide range of um, choice of architecture, each of which uh, maximally responds um, uh, or corresponds to the segment of um, application ultra um, uh, light local um, devices down to very heavy um, uh, calculators, which uh, combines um, um, all this um, uh, to um, conceal uh, the complexity from the developer and the ecosystem which is ready to provide you ready-made solutions uh, for um, uh, reloading uh, here and now. I would like to say thank you to everybody uh, and also say that from the point of view of Intel, and we can clearly see that the algorithms uh, of uh, artificial intelligence will be uh, the determining next uh, de uh, during next decade, and we are actively getting prepared for that. And not to lose time, uh, not to wait for something, not to look for some specialized accelerators uh, here and now, working uh, with projects uh, in AI uh, should be started um, at um, uh, available uh, Xeons of the third generation, which uh, you can request uh, uh, in the cloud um, or uh, order in the way, way of a server or um, using bfloat 16 you can get um, uh, um, FP32 from each socket um, which uh, I would tell you is uh, quite a good thing to do and very often is more than enough uh, for many uh, many real uh, practical projects um, so don't hesitate um, uh, visit uh, intel.ai um, ask your questions I will be happy to um, attempt to answer uh, at least those questions that uh, um, already have all the answers. So we have uh, just some time left uh, for Q&A. And I can see that there's a question about neuromorph uh, morph, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, process. So we um, do it using our uh, uh, tech um, process of 14 nanometers. Um, uh, currently, this project um, has been developing for several years um, uh, on like um, uh, its uh, underground volcano in the Hawaiians, uh, which is coming up and up and will come very soon above uh, the sea, and uh, thus there will be another island in Hawaii. And uh, the achievement is very good, and I would recommend you to look up if you uh, did not visit the uh, Mike Davis session today, who provided uh, many details about uh, the neuromorph um, the research uh, in Intel. Look up uh, the uh, recorded uh, presentation and the session. And uh, thus we can see that neuromorph computing uh, in um, uh, because of um, uh, asynchronicity of those neural uh, networks um, gives a uh, huge energy efficiency against traditional uh, purely digital synchronous schemes, um, uh, light micro scheme capable of not just uh, uh, performing um, um, uh, with um, 1,000 um, um, 
consumption uh, and uh, be retrained uh, from purely mathematical uh, training of neural networks down to the mimicry um, at the level of um, at least uh, coding the signal uh, as impulses um, and um, it um, can um, uh, boast of um, a breakthrough in the development of AI platforms.